Okay, so today we're going to be doing the demonstration on how to machine the rotor. So first you got to make sure, check what kind of rotor you got. Here we got a floating rotor. And the first thing you need to do is look for the cup that best fits it. This one fits good. And next you got the spring. That goes on next. And then you got to find a cone that fits your uh, rotor. Should sit about halfway. This one looks good. You got that on next, and you throw your rotor on. And next, you got to put on another cup. Should be the same size as your original. And then you get the, you put on your clutch. And then whatever you need to use to space, to fill an empty space. Should fit good. You just hand tighten that and then... Wait, pause it, pause it. Okay, so you gotta put in your spacers. Okay, so you're gonna lock this in now. Okay. So you're gonna make sure your cutters are backed off. And you're gonna line up your cutters with your rotor. So you use this to adjust your cutters side to side. Looks about well good. You gonna tighten this back up. You're gonna back off your cutters. Make sure these are loose. And you're gonna bring your cutters in all the way. Okay, so you tighten this up. So you're gonna back your cutters off. Bring this all the way in, your cutters, right to the end. Okay. Turn on the machine. So you're gonna bring your cutters all the way in. Turn the machine on. And you're gonna bring the rotors in until they're just touching the cutters in, just till they're touching the rotor. About there. Now you're gonna zero in your dial. Zero on both in. Lock in your cutters. And we'll give this about 0.2 of an inch. And then let it go. And now you're gonna wait for the machine to Good thing. So as you can see, it's machine nicely, nicely. It's time to take it off. Take it and go. So here we have our finished rotor, machine rotor. As you can see, it's done nicely. There's no warpage on this rotor. Thank you.